we have this cloth simulation. We've got the sphere as a collider, the bottom plane as a collider, and then this top plane is obviously an end cloth. So this is after you've played around with all the settings, you've done enough tweaking, you've changed the position. So sometimes it can just be a nightmare just trying to nail down exactly what you want. So you can actually do work outside of the simulation. So I'm going to go to a frame that I like. Uh, let's say like right there. I like that cloth kind of draped over the sphere. Let's go back. That's good. I'm going to press Shift D. Shift D, that one's duplicated. I don't need this plane anymore. And I don't need a nucleus or any of the rigid body stuff. And this is what I'm left with. I no longer have a simulation. And what I can do is like, yeah, that's not perfect, uh, but it's close. I'm going to use some of my sculpting tools to hop in here. So the primary brush that I would use inside of your sculpting tab with the cloth selected, I'm going to use the grab brush. Super, super great. You can open up the tool settings if you'd like. Uh, strength at 100 is fine. You'll need to change the size. It's just the size of your brush. Hold B as in Bravo or left click and drag. So with like a larger brush, I like to come in here and, you know, these wrinkles are cool, but they're just straight up and down. So I'm going to just gently kind of nudge the surface. And now these wrinkles have this curve to it. I can make large changes to my cloth. Obviously, if you were to pull this too far, it's not keeping the same volume. So keep that in mind. That looks crazy. Same thing. You don't want to push too far into your mesh or anything like that. But I can make these giant changes. I could clump fabric a little bit better to get closer to what I had in my mind. Next brush is the Amplify tool, which is right here, the spiky looking one. If I press this and left click and drag, it is going to pull out the peaks of this fabric or whatever you're sculpting and then push in like the valleys. Let's say like right up here, it kind of fades into the cloth. So if I were to hit this, you'll notice that it's pushing those values down. Let's use a smaller brush and just hit that peak. So it's making that a little bit sharper and then it just lets us see it better. So let's say I really like this divot right there. So I can hit that area. It is going to accentuate that portion so it's an easy way to accentuate the parts of your cloth that you like. So with any brush selected, you can smooth. So holding shift to smooth, I can smooth some of that away. Now, be careful. This will destroy your mesh. Like Just like before with the grab brush, this is no longer the same volume cloth. So what you can do instead, if you feel like smoothing is just destroying way too much of your cloth, we have relax, which is this wireframe looking button here. When you press that, even with a giant draw size, you'll notice it's not like deforming the exterior, but what it's doing is it's like softening everything else, which is a neat way to prevent yourself from breaking your mesh. So I'm going to get a smaller brush size. Maybe it's like, ah, that was just way too intense here. Let me relax this. So it just flows a little bit better. So lots of cool things that you can do after the fact, after you've done a simulation.